Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Dan and this is Butterchenia's Isset Control deck. It will be competitor number four in the Pauper Gauntlet. And it's also featured in an article on MTGO Library, you'll find the link in the show notes. So, time to practice. Sammy Deluxe is my opponent. Uh, this has to be Nulligand. And uh, this too, without there is a preordain. I'm gonna do the dangerous preordain keep. I don't really want to go to five. This deck mulligans quite well though. Evolving Wilds doesn't tell me anything. So let's cast that preordain. Discarding anything that's not land. Let's see what we can find. Sammy is thinking carefully. And we can't stand any of this. Do I want to get rid of the preordain? Probably not. As it allows me to dig too deeper. Now I'm in trouble against the Golgari aggro deck. And I'm not going for the Delver here. I have to find some lands. Bottom, bottom. I don't find them. So I am in trouble. Deep, deep trouble. And that Putrid Leech is gonna do some damage to his master. Ouch. Not the best of starts. Borderland Ranger, guy you seldom see in classic pauper. Oh, some sort of domain, some sort of jund. Uh, Bolt the Ranger, play the Delver. Really need that third mana. He will probably play that mountain then. And burn my Delver. Yeah, I am taking it. And I'm at 12. Something huge. Blightning. Okay, I guess I have to discard the counter spells. Because I will have no time to be reactive. And I need to roll cards, but I'm at 9 now. Uh, no. I can't cast anything. I think I might have to jump block here. Uh, yeah, I can't take another 4 damage when I'm at 9. So, jump blocking commences. But then see get Oracle block, then Maldrifter block. He still has four cards though, so uh, chances are that he will be able to do something. But he has to apply a lot of pressure here, because that is a lot of pressure. Uh, well, the research... I'm gonna have to throw away the land. And I'm at six. So now I have to find two land. 
Nine of three. There is one land. He might already have the bolt or lightning. There's a flame slash. So I should have played the oracle with just blue mana to be able to cast the. Flame Flash. Not much to do there. Okay, so I'm facing a basic aggro deck. Uh, do I want Hydro Blast? He might be too fast for me. So including two Hydro Blast over two research seems decent. Maybe a Dispel over research as well. Can't count the Blightning with the spell, but I can count the Blightning with Hydro Blast. So that's what I'm going for. If you think I should have sideboarded differently, let me know. Uh, the 9th of July, playing a Sammy. It looks yond. 10-3 with this deck. Would I like to play first? Yes, I would. And I am keeping a land heavy hand now, so I don't run out of lands. But the Putri Leech will be hard to handle with this. He mulligans once, so I think... Unless I flood here, I should be doing good. Uh, I'm gonna hard cast that Mull Rifter for five. Or should I use it before? Hmm. Now I probably have some burning to do next turn. I'll double five bolt uh, Putri Leech. Not happily, but I'll do it. But it's Keldom Marauders. So now. What to do? There is a lot of land here. No, I'm just gonna play Boilerworks and be done. And take the pain. And I'm gonna spend my next turn dealing with this next threat. Jand is in the house. I'm gonna get lightning, but it's not gonna hurt me at all. Oh, it's gonna do three damage. Hopefully he plays a threat that I can deal with with my double firebolts. He loots. Removing Shane the Shidic. Oh, value. So much value. And a Putrid Leech, please. I can deal with it with my Firebolts. But he plays nothing. And so do I. Bye bye Keldon Marauders, he did the full 5 points. Which is pretty good for Keldon Marauder. And there is the Putrid Leech. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with it. And there is a way to deal with it. And 
and uh, gain some value in the process. I want that exclude. Electrostatic bolt isn't the hottest. I should have sideboarded that out. But uh, yeah, that's what happens when you don't have a sideboard plan. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the lands. And now I feel pretty good about myself. I'm just gonna cast the Mull Drifter here. As I'm able to deal with all his threats and then I sit back behind excluding counter spells. Okay, I should take out the electrostatic bolts. Bring in... Uh, what would I bring in over them? Yeah, three for one. Well, well I'm just gonna do double bolt the wear bear here and uh, then I can't. I can protect myself with the counter spell. I wait till next turn before I do anything else. Then I can preordain Delver and sit back with Exclude. And win by massive card advantage. I am gonna counter a Blightning. Will I counter a Duress? No, probably not. Waiting eagerly to see what he has. He is casting an earth for the werebear. Werebear, not a bear. Oh, Pyroblast! The plot thickens. Yeah. Hmm. When in doubt, cast Muldrifters. Hydroblast. Lightning or a Delver and a Preordain. I'm gonna block the oracle. In hindsight, I don't like me throwing away those lands, but Rakdos Guildgate. Okay, this is the moment I have to. Take a hit, I think. Delver, Delver. Ready with exclude, but not counterspell. Or should I cast the preordain? Probably not. And I'll take one hit. And then I'll figure something out. Champ blocking fest was not what I had in mind. We might play around this clue here. But I also have the Hydroblast. 
Flip my delvers, flip. Okay, I can block him with everything. That doesn't sound like a real plan. Uh, put on bottom, put on top. Die, Mr. Werebear. And now I have Hydroblast Exclude. Or Counterspell. Uh, for unearth them. Lightning Bolt to the face. Take that. Five lives feel like a lot here. I'm not scared. Not scared of you. Um. Okay, now I'll halber blast it. Okay, I let it through. Go to two. Pretty dangerous. Do I still have the counterspell? Throw another counterspell. Okay, here we are. This is what we have. But next turn this might be lethal. We also have the firebolts. Hope he doesn't have another one. Living on the edge. Play a creature now. Flip my delvers. Flip. Yes. Yes, and this is when he burns me. Okay, now I'm safe. And I win. Okay, so. Do I really want to dispel over an electrostatic bolt? He didn't have too many instants, did he? Random change. Oh, another crap hand. Yes, I want to Mulligan. Boiler works, boiler works. Yeah, I'm keeping this as I have the double removal, but I'm not happy about it. And one Putrid Leech now, and it's all over. Edge of Autumn. Blue mana, please. No. Well, I have to remember not to give up. He still doesn't have pressure on me, as, soon, as long as he doesn't have pressure, I'm doing fine. I 
it's just one island, I can use the preordain. This is not unwinnable. Those excludes doesn't look too hot now, do they? 10-3 with the deck, 77%, one of my better decks, but if I lose this, that's gonna change a lot. He took the preordain, of course. Pretty wise of him. Another electrostatic bolt. I have no defense against a high toughness creature such as the Putrid Leech. Or that guy. Boiler works. So now we can exclude stuff. But he still gets to play one more threat, so it will be hard to deal with them. Like that guy. Yeah, they are quite enough to take me out. Quite enough! I guess Kokanura is the... No, Pure Leech is the Tarmogoyf. I don't know what this guy is. Corsair of Crufix. For the Jund parallel. Okay, so I can't... I can kill him if he actually pumps the Pure Leech. Will I go for that? Yes, of course I will. So you can only do four. Oracle is helpful. Well, I definitely want the Delver. And now I have to throw away an exclude. And I'm gonna go to 10, at least unless he plays another creature that can pump the Kokonura. What have we seen? Over two power uh, Werebear, but Werebear is not going to be very large. He doesn't have red. Ouch. Okay, so bolt bolt exclude. But I'm not gonna get to exclude anything. But I want to see another threat. So I'm going for the bolt bolt, I'm only gonna take two damage. But then I'm not gonna get to exclude anything. I don't need Bolt Bolt even. Take four. Then Bolt Bolt at the end of turn. Yeah, that works. Exclude. Paying blue mana. Bolt. Mm. 
This would be a tough recovery. It's the rest for my counter spell. On Earth. An island. How about Firebolt, Firebolt? It's my only way to survive, isn't it? Living on the edge. I can't hope that he doesn't draw a red mana and that he only has red cards. And doesn't play a creature. And now he does. Uh oh. <laughs> so, um. Delver, Flame Slash, Counterspell. Okay, Flame Slash doesn't work now, of course. Uh, there is no way to get around this. Well, I have to play the other Delver, but then I can't counter anything. So now I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, that is Tormuth. It turns out the Krokanura is Goyth. Yeah, how do I live through this? Well, Maldrifter into a Flame Slash. Can kill the Krokanura and then block the Blastoderm unless he plays something, anything. So I got to draw a Muldrifter and he doesn't, okay he didn't play anything, but I didn't draw the Muldrifter. So I'm just dead. Thank you for watching.